what's up spaghetti sauces dr doofensmirts here um welcome back to kirby sticker star allies welcome back to kirby star allies um i'm recording this on the same day as the last two episodes just just cuz i don't know of yesterday's episodes I, I i mean i have to get used to recording more than two videos a day because with Forgotten Land, I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably going to, um, just record all the videos in one day so that I can play the game with, you know, play the game, still get my reactions, and also, you know, not get spoiled so that I can play the game. I'm, I'm surprised, I, I don't think Forgotten Land has gotten leaked yet. Usually Nintendo games get leaked a week before release. Luckily, it seems like Forgotten Land has not yet. So, but I hopefully don't have to be very nervous about spoilers. I'm surprised I never got spoiled about a certain event in my game. Actually, about that, that said event. Does it really matter? I mean, like, I'm very... There's a lot of organic and stuff on the camera, but it's just... Also, it's just... It's just dirty videos. But, uh, I, I, I... The event happened. So I took a break because I was a baby and it was sad. And, um... That was really so good. And as soon as I went on YouTube, I saw the video. Which, that. I bet you. I bet you can't guess who. I bet you can't guess which Nintendo YouTuber would uh, upload a a important event a week early before the game. Or like, like it was uploaded a week early. Like I said, I already had played the game. But I bet you can't guess which Nintendo YouTuber would upload a big event from a Nintendo game. A, a week early and have the spoilers in the thumbnail. I bet you can't guess who did it. You'll never guess. I'll never say their name. I, you know, I, I, I still respect privacy and stuff. But I, I think anyone who has been around Nintendo YouTuber or Nintendo YouTube knows of the spoilers in the thumbnail. The spoiler in thumbnail person. I mean, I think people were also putting spoilers on, like, Twitter a week before, because Modern Pick Mario has all the games that people have played, of course. Uh, which is kind of cringe, but luckily I didn't have a Twitter at that time. <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Who's the real winner? Ready for something awesome? Too bad, because it's not here. needs to solve puzzles when you have a maglore. Oh, you actually have to have the fire combination. Maglore, give me the fire. Thanks, man. You're so cool and awesome. Ooh. 
Do I have anyone with ice? I don't want to have to get rid of one of the Kawasaki's, but... Wait, Maglor has the, uh... The, um, wind he can use, right, Maglor? He can use that, right? can aim it correctly, it might work. Let, let's get down here. Now do it. This might work. It might be that way. I'm wasting a lot of time with these puzzles, just trying to keep the helpers that I actually want. I guess I'll keep doing it for my Kawasaki's. Get rid of the green one. We've had the we've had the blue one for a while. He's been a good friend. All right, Maglar. Now you now you can use. Those aren't human noises. Um, Maglar. Now you can use your stubbornness. Like, why has Maglor- I feel like Maglor just knows that no matter what he does, he'll be a part of the team, so... You know, this game has sentient AI. I can't be convinced otherwise. Too much convenient stuff has happened in this game. the final boss. <laughs> I didn't do the intense cooking. I know the secret. Destroy everything. Can we 
get more lives. Because we needed those. I'll, I'll get the paint person. Just because, why not? I think the, the paint person is the, uh, the third. I guess they didn't want to be the paint person. <laughs> the third sister of Drasia. Or the second sister of Drasia. Drasia is the third. But yeah. Random mini boss over one final boss and one boss boss happens. It, it really just devolved. Alright, final level time. Ten minutes in. Should I go get a better ability? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just just cheer up the team before the final level. this level to just like kill your teammates. Kind of funny. Funny level design. Still better level design than Trickling 2 though. <laughs> I think it was last episode. Crushing is really the only thing that will be dangerous to you. If you have friends. Somebody was about to get crushed right there. I almost was the one that got crushed. Oh crap, I'll be right back. Alright, the kid gloves are off. Let's go. choice between our, these random abilities. I guess I'll go with sword. Give me fire. Give me fire. Here. I don't really know why I want fire. It's just cool. I think I remember Parmesan Cheese's voice. Because I went for sort of like an Azula voice. There, pink one. It's Olivia from. I did not expect you to survive the visit to Jim Bastion. What is. M what's more, you somehow bested my darling Franny and Bursch. However, your luck has run out. It is the dearest wish of Lord Highness. 
that no one interferes. Bringer of Shock, Parmesan Cheese. I think that's actually what Magor calls Saint Partisan. Yeah, I'm a uh, pretty Twitter. They they have they have lore. Uh, there's probably a, an explanation for the things there. Alright, this move is really strong, so I have to wait for it. We're going back to the walkthrough days of Mr. Bean. Thank you, Kawasaki. Very cool. That was the original victory pose. I was doing this a couple episodes ago. That's what it was. Help, Highness. No. Ja? What is this interference? You. You seem to be in my way. Well then, it seems we do not have enough energy to revive our Dark Lord. Must we allow ourselves to fall into oblivion? No! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no I say! <laughs> The masters of a. Uh, we are the so. Let me let me uh, read the uh, dialogue there. We are the masters of a power driven to the far reaches of the universe, and we have what but one desire. Can one such as you possibly fathom how dearly we have clung to this dream across aeons? How could you? You couldn't. Never, ever, ever. We who faced those who were in such fear of our power that they sealed us away and banished us to the edge of the galaxy. Us. As if that loveliness wasn't enough, they tried to erase our very existence from history. Rude. Only through our magic were we able to overcome their science, and we achieved great prosperity. We alone were not responsible for stopping that repulsive nightmare of a galactic crisis. Yet this is how you repay us? This won't stand. This won't be forgiven. It won't be forgiven. Never, ever, ever. Those who called us mad, are you listening? You left us at the edge of a galaxy to be forgotten. I went along your merry way, probably living somewhere pretty and peaceful. But to know this, your future is a farce. We have none. We, masters of matter, most dark, vow to be restored as foretold in the Book of Legend. Everyone thought it was just a fairy tale. It wasn't. We have already obtained the vessel that contains our Dark Lord, and he will soon awaken and show us in compassion. Look at the vessel of our Dark Lord is filling up even as we speak. Now the time for greatness to enter the world has come. Welcome a new history, a new age, an age of awesomeness. Happy birthday, Dark Lord. Happy birthday. Grace us graciously, Dark Lord. Yeah. So, galactic crisis, nightmares... Matter most dark, nightmare, galactic night, and dark matter. I mean, dark matter obviously fits in. Half, half, half. You see it now, don't you? Anyone who interrupts our revival ceremony, we must kindly ask that they please disappear forever. So I'll explain, Highness, here. Um, 
basically, I already mentioned that uh, Galactonite, I mean not in this series, but in a previous series, Galactonite is responsible for sealing something away. But Galactonite is responsible for sealing something away. And uh, because of that, he was sealed away in fear that his power was too great, obviously. And he was sealed away by the Ancients, which, I mean, Maglor has talked a lot about. You, you may have noticed he, he bears kind of a resemblance to Maglor. And I actually thought he was going to be, like, a new Maglor, which I think he kind of is. Because, like, Maglor has a connection with the Ancients. And anyways, there, there was two versions of the, the Ancients, as you may have heard. There was Science Ancients and Ja, 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 and uh, then there was the magic ancient. He even has like the, the weird little el yellow ears. Um, and basically there was the science ancients and the magic. I, I believe Highness is magic. Yeah, he would have to be away. Basically, after Galactonite, I, I have mentioned the, the rock, paper, scissors match of, of Yor. And that, that is kind of what happened. Basically, Galactonite sealed something away. So the magic ancients sealed him away, and then the science ancients sealed them away. And so Hynus is a is a ancestor of these magic ancients. And he wants to revive that something. So yeah, that's that's part of the lore. That you now say. Have a cook off, you know. Maglor seems to have a good idea of how to stop that. Good job, Maglor. He finally used the black hole move against the boss. He finally did it. The madman. Alrighty. You. How could you defeat me? The Lord Highness. An offering to our Dark Lord. Perhaps, if there is an offering, what should I do? Only one option remains. Those who harbor the greatest of magic, I call upon you. Make it so. Accept my aid. I pledge myself to you, Dark Lord of Destruction. I do this so that our Dark Lord may be reborn. Rise, destroyer of worlds! Rise, Void Termina! Ruining the moment. Maglor's ready to fight. Friend star. However, we cannot skip the cutscene. That's how you know it's going to be intense. These uh, these heart spear things are important. There are the seals that we uh, we saw Pinus remove at the start of the game, and uh, they were made, created by Galactonite using one percent of his power. That that that's some stuff that was in Super Kirby Clash. Yeah, uh, dark, dark, dark. <laughs> Galactonite um, can use both light and negative energy, which means that throughout all these Galactonite fights, Galactonite has not used like even a fraction of his power. Um, Kirby Star Allies beat the game already. Um, 
what am I trying to say? Yeah, uh, and positive and negative energy are going to come up when I get to actually talk more about Void Termina, aside from he was sealed away from Galactonite. So, skip. Go gamers. It's time for the banner. Destroy your worlds. Void termina. Yeah, I I somewhat planned uh, a Kirby uh, lyrics video series. Uh, Again, it, like, it, like, see what I mean about the last part of this game being a lot more interesting. And this is still just the, uh, the rising part. I haven't even made it to Heroes of the Living. I can make Galaxias just because. First phase done. Bowser's inside story. Oh, and we got a partners in time portal there. It's all the Mario and Luigi games. Kirby Star Allies is the new Mario and Luigi game that we're waiting for. There's one attack that he's gonna do eventually that's really annoying. You can basically turn your friends against you, and if you hit your friends, well, they die instantly. I mean, like, you, you can still revive them, it's not like a super kill. It's still kind of annoying. Why is there just floating orbs in the back? I never noticed those. I've already mentioned before, this guy, uh, is a destroyer in Trinity. Is this, like, everyone always jokes about Kirby has to fight gods just because? I think just because of that. But, like, without giving too much away, this guy is the creator. He is. I can't even mention it yet, because that would spoil even this boss. Basically, depending if you feel negative or positive energy, something will happen. Let's say that. I'm 
doing that attack yet. There's one attack that he has. That's it. Are you guys ready for the, the pool? Wait for it. Defeats boss before he does it. He can just summon the Master Crown. Maglor's in the back. You know what? It's only right. Let's go, Maglor. Get your revenge. No! Kawasaki is against me! Oh yeah, you can kill this guy with friendship. He's weak to the friendships. It takes forever to kill this guy, okay? but yeah, nothing really happens to do it like that, but... It's a thing to do. I don't know why I... Oh, that's a nice face. Alright, I guess Maglor... I, I guess... If in the thumbnail, Maglor is just stabbing Void Termina, you know. And the Wooded Acid starts matter. Wow. Crazy. Anyways, notice how he had a Kirby face and a Dark Matter face. I wonder I wonder if that has any meaning to something. I wonder if him having resemblance to both Kirby and Dark Matter has any any symbolism. Oh, and hexagons. Um, you know, let, didn't I didn't I mention in the final episode of Kirby 64 when we were back in Dark Star to remember hexagon flooring? I mean, I feel like there's a connection somewhere. Oh, and he's spherical, much like Kirby and Dark Matter. There might be something there. Oh, his theme is a remix of Green Green's, part of Kirby's first adventure. Anyways, kid gloves are off once again. Let's do this. It's time for the quick time event. You know, you don't take the glove. You, you don't take the gloveness. You don't take the gloves off for the the actual boss fight. But when it comes to the quick time event, bird clock. It's time to kill you with the power of friendship. That's actually gonna come in. We're, we're actually gonna kill this guy with the power of friendship. How you do it? Just <laughs> grab your entire controller with one hand, and we're gonna do it with the power of friendship. I like that they added all the dream friends with each update. You see them at the top. Even Marx is helping.
perish. We did it, gamers. We saved the world. Again. I can't take it off when I'm sitting. Dang it. I wanted to have a dramatic, like, we did it, gamers. I can take the lamp up. We exploded the world. Why is this so hard to take off? What the heck? There we go. Now Kirby's gotta ex escape with his, with his iconic team. Kawasaki, Magalore, and, you know, the tie stays on. Kawasaki, Magalore, and random... <laughs> what is the staff guy's name? It's something jam. Or jab. Magalore's doing one of his animations from, uh, from, like, Dreamland, Return to Dreamland, where he's like, Kirby, how are you my good friend who I'm not going to betray? I did Marx's voice for Mangalore. Oops. <laughs> uh, I had one at a time where my my entire team. I, I wanted to kind of do this for this game, but it didn't turn out well. Um, my first time playing this game, I had a whole team of Kawasaki's. So it's just Kawas three Kawasaki's slowly floating towards Kirby. And it was quite a hearty chuckle. Anyways, we're going back home. And that was Kirby's Star Allies. It wasn't. Skip the credits. So anyways, uh, we still have a lot more content to do. First off, we have Guest Star <laughs> Allies Go. And, uh, that's gonna be about two episodes. We also have the ultimate choice. Um, and Heroes in Another Dimension. I could do Heroes in Another Dimension first. Because that's a more, uh, more substantial mode. My, my laptop's about to die. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.